gang, I'm not gonna hold y'all. It seems like we just got fooled by Lil Tay, man. Now, I know you guys remember like five days ago, I actually made a video on it. So if you guys haven't watched it, go check that one out so you guys can understand this one. Lil Tay apparently passed away. Or at least that's what it seemed like, you feel me? I was sad, I was like, man, I used to get entertained by her. Good laughs, good times. It kind of made me feel some type of way. Come to find out that Lil Tay is actually alive and well and nothing happened to her. Apparently her account got hacked, or at least that's what she's trying to say. I kind of felt a little bit iffy about the whole entire Lil Tay passing away because honestly, there was no legit reason. If you guys go watch the last video, you can clearly see me saying like, yo, this a little bit sus. There's no actual reason how and how she passed away. No actual police reports on how she passed away or if she passed away. And usually, especially if you a kid, there's always a police report. Like, come on now, like we all human beings. If you pass away, especially you're that high value to the public, you're a celebrity, public figure, they're definitely gonna have a police report or they're gonna come out with a reason on how you passed away. We didn't get none of those things. So off rip, we kind of like, hmm. You know what, we gonna believe it though because it's on all these media pages and usually these media pages be fact checking. We really don't be having little weird stuff like this happen on social media where people fake their death. But the only way Lil Tay could have possibly got away with it, man, is her account got hacked. That was the only way. But if you ask me, I say this was planned. Now the media was going on with the whole entire Lil Tay passed away scenario or story for like a good two days maybe a day and a half but my thing is if your account really got hacked you would definitely come to social media or you have the plugs the connections to push out the agenda that you're still alive there's no way you're gonna wait a whole day and a half whole two days to come out and say yo my account got hacked this is what happened this that and the third like i don't i'm not going for that at all if you ask me I personally think Lil Tay is trying to make a comeback and this was the perfect way to do it because there is no better time to get clout than when you die, bro. I'm sorry to tell you, you're never gonna be as famous as you ever could possibly be without passing away. That's just the hardcore facts. Now Lil Tay's name was trending all over social media, like I told y'all. She's a smart girl, her marketing team is a smart team. They definitely knew that was the way to bring her back to social media because if she had made a video, I probably would have saw it, but come on now. I wouldn't have reacted to it, made a whole video about it as if the scenario where she passed away. If I'm being honest, that's a sad truth. And that's why I'm saying she probably did fake this whole entire Lil Tay passed away situation. Now, am I mad that she's still alive? No, but I am mad about the fact that she fooled all of us. I mean, apparently inside the little text that she had posted or the hacker posted on social media, it wasn't even her real name. It wasn't even her real name. And that's what makes me believe on top of that, that it was her. If you a hacker and you can hack into someone's account who has a million followers, then you gotta know your research on who this person is, what's her actual name. I feel like the name not being right was Lil Tay or her brother just like, hmm, this is gonna make the public believe us even more when we come out saying that our account was hacked. You know what I'm saying? I mean, let's be real, the average human mind is not gonna think Lil Tay's capping when she goes out to saying, that's not even my real name, like this is a sloppy hacker, no. Come on now, everybody gonna believe that. Me, I'm not going for it. That's a perfect excuse to get your name out the way when it comes to, oh, she faked it, oh, she was capping. You know what I'm saying? All I'm trying to say is don't be surprised if in the next month or two, you see Lil Tay start posting videos again and try to get back on the timeline. I'm just saying this was the perfect way to do it. And if she does come back to social media on the type of time she is, best believe I'm making a video saying I told you so because it's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence that you fake your death and then, well, apparently someone hacked your account saying that you passed away and then like a month later you come back to social media trying to become buddy buddy with the public again trying to entertain all of us again no it's not a coincidence so just letting you guys know if that's the case it definitely was her that faked her death and it wasn't a hacker trying to push that out because why how could someone be so smart to hack someone with a few million followers on instagram but not smart enough to do their research on her 
I mean, literally, her name is on Google. I don't know, man. That's just my thoughts and opinions on it. Comment down below what you guys think about the situation. If you guys think that Lotte actually got hacked or if you guys think that it was her doing it herself. Let's have a little debate inside the comment section. Why you guys think that? All that good stuff, man. Follow my Instagram at Jojo Scout underscore. All of Fufu Boys cleaning on Instagram, too. We teeing up on there, posting crazy reels. If you guys need an appointment, if you live in NC, the link to my website is going to be the first link inside the description. Trust me, you already know your boy going crazy on the houses and the whips. Stop playing around, man. Tap in. But Fufu Gang, Rapper Lifestyle, I'm out. Gang.